CBSE NCRT Solutions Chapter Number Five Arithmetic Progressions Exercise Five Point Two Problem Number Five. The problem is find the number of terms in each of the following APs. So there are two parts in this problem, and we will go through them one by one. The first part is we are given an AP seven, thirteen, nineteen, and here are missing terms, and we have two hundred five at the end, and we want to find how many terms are there in this AP. So the last term here, this nth term here is 205. So we need to find n here basically. If we get the value of n, then we will get to know how many terms are there in this arithmetic progression. So let's start with the solution. We have first term is equal to a equal to 7 and common difference here, common difference is difference between every two consecutive terms it's 13 minus 7 equal to 6 or, or you could say 19 minus 13 it would all, always come equal to 6 so now we have a formula that we use to find nth term of any given arithmetic progression which is a n equal to a plus n minus 1 times d where a is the first term and d is the common difference and n is the location of any particular term of a p now we have 205 here we if we can find its location we will get to know how many terms are there in, in this AP. So I will put 200, 105 because it's given to us that AN is equal to 205. So I will put A A7 here and N is unknown and D is 6. So I just need to find the value of N. So 205 is equal to 7 plus 6 and minus 6 here. And I get 205 equal to 7. 7 minus 6 is 1 actually, and 1 plus 6 n here. So I can take 1 to the other side now, to the left hand side, it's equal to 6 n. And I get here 204 equal to 6 n. So I get n equal to 204 divided by 6, and it's equal to 3, 4, 34. So it's n is equal to 34. It means that there are 34 terms in this AP. So me, it means that this this last term is present at 34th location. Hence, there are 34 terms in this AP, which is part number one. Now we can move to part number two. The so part number two is we have 18, 15, 1 divided by 2. 13 and we have here missing terms and we have minus 47 at the last. Let's suppose that it is present at nth location. Now here first term is equal to a is equal to 18 and common difference here is equal to d is equal to 15 1 by 2 minus 18. And this is equal to 15 times 2 is 30 and 30 plus 1 is 31 divided by 2 minus 18 here and I get 2 as LCM and 31 minus 36 here and it's equal to minus 5 divided by 2. So common difference is equal to minus 5 divided by 2. Now I can apply a formula which is used to find the nth term of any arithmetic progression and we used it in the first part. The nth term we have here is minus 47 so minus 47 is equal to first term first term we have in this sequence is 18 plus n minus 1 times d d is minus 5 by 2 now we need to find the value of n here so minus 47 is equal to 18 and we can here take LCM or or I could can write minus 5 n plus 5 divided by 2 here because minus 5 times n is minus 5 n and plus 5 here or I can write here we can do this in the next step okay I will write here minus 5 and minus 1 divided by 2 and I can take LCM here, 2 would be the LCM and I will get 36 here minus 5n plus 5 here. So I get here minus 47 equal to 36 minus 5n 
plus 5 divided by 2. Now I can cross multiply and uh, minus 47 times 2 is 94 minus 94 here and equal to 36 minus 5 and plus 5 and I get here 5n can be taken to other side and all the rest of the terms can be taken on one side so 5n is equal to 36 plus 5 plus 94 here and I get 5n equal to now 36 plus 5 plus 94 94 36 and 5 here so 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 3 is 13 it's 135 here so I get n equal to 135 divided by 5 and it's equal to 2 and 7. So it means that there are 27 terms in the in the second AP which was given to us. So it means that there are 27 terms in this and minus 47 is 27th term. So that's about uh, problem number 5. In the next video I'll be covering chapter 5 arithmetic progressions exercise 5.2 problem number 6. See you guys.